The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. People demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. People understand me so poorly that they don't even understand my complaint about them not understanding me. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true, the other is to refuse to believe what is true. It is perfectly true, as philosophers say, that life must be understood backwards. But they forget the other proposition, that it must be lived forwards. I see it all perfectly, there are two possible situations, one can either do this or that. My honest opinion and my friendly advice is this, do it or do not do it, you will regret both. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly the one you'll never have. The Bible is very easy to understand. But we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. In addition to my other numerous acquaintances, I have one more intimate confidant. My depression is the most faithful mistress I have known, no wonder, then, that I return the love. What if everything in the world were a misunderstanding, what if laughter were really tears? To venture causes anxiety, but not to venture is to lose oneself. And to venture in the highest is precisely to be conscious of oneself. Face the facts of being what you are, for that is what changes what you are. God creates out of nothing. Wonderful you say. Yes, to be sure, but he does what is still more wonderful, he makes saints out of sinners. To cheat oneself out of love is the most terrible deception, it is an eternal loss for which there is no reparation, either in time or in eternity. If anyone on the verge of actions should judge himself according to the outcome, he would never begin. The proud person always wants to do the right thing, the great thing. But because he wants to do it in his own strength, he is fighting not with man, but with God. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen but, if one will, are to be lived. Many of us pursue pleasure with such breathless haste that we hurry past it. It is perhaps the misfortune of my life that I am interested in far too much but not decisively in any one thing. All my interests are not subordinated in one but stand on an equal footing. There is nothing with which every man is so afraid as getting to know how enormously much he is capable of doing and becoming. 